we can start converting it into a James Bond inspired spy car. An ejection seat. Dispensers for tire spikes and oil slicks. More levers and switches than we know what to do with. A built-in projector so you have a movie theater wherever you want. A shock door handle. Jet engines in the trunk. Flamethrowers out. <laughs> Hey guys, on this episode of Make It Real, we're upgrading the spy car again, this time with a flamethrower. In the past, we've turned it into a portable movie theater, we've created a taser door handle, a license plate flipper, and we're even planning on adding jet engines to it. But make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see why I'm actually wearing these flame retardant coveralls. What are you doing, Dave? I'm just gonna try a little propane injection on the car. It's got two valves. Two? Oh yeah, <laughs> and then we got our flamethrower. All right, let's try it. <laughs> yeah. Upside down. Bad ideas gotten better. Great setup, I think it'll work. For more information on how the electronics works, please check out our circuit diagram at maker.io. There are links in the description below. All right, so we just got the app working. And as you can see, we got our control panel right there and the wireless module down there. And now if we uh, hit switch number 14 right here, and then uh, I labeled these ones wrong, but if we hit the tire spike button, oh, we got a flipping license plate. This is sweet. All right, so programming the app is actually pretty simple. We're using something called Blink, which communicate with the uh, Bluetooth Arduino that we're using. Um, so we can just go in and edit the button. Now, let's, uh, let's la label our flamethrower exhaust. And we're gonna have it on or off instead of hold the button, because why not? Should it be fire or flame? Yeah, flame. So, and come down here. As soon as we hit the flame button, And if you heard that click, that is actually the solenoid valve. So all we have to do is open this valve. And now hypothetically, we might get a fireball if we do this. <laughs> so it might not work unless the car is running with exhaust. Let's finish the car. All right, let's see what happens. You wanna try getting me some gas while I do that? All right, let's manually light it. There we go. Woo, it's warm over here. Hmm. We're gonna need more propane soon. Yep. Just a little frosty. Spark cap. I do love these drill bits. Perfect. Got this. All right, we know it works now. So we can design a better igniter. I'm not convinced it's gonna survive driving. Wide open. Okay. Propane. Frosty. So I think the issue is our spark plug is a very small spark gap. So the spark isn't very big, which might be why it's not igniting. If we compare it to the boring flamethrower we built, we have a much larger spark gap. 
So we're gonna try and bend the spark plug tip out a bit. And we just have to mount it properly. All right, so I think the issue was the spark plug was too much in the stream of liquid propane, which meant uh, it just wasn't able to ignite. So we've moved it slightly, so the propane shouldn't be hitting it directly, and let's, let's see if it works. Oh, that's hot. Ready? Terrible idea. In three, two, Alright, so this is the spy car. Um, currently we have four spy features out of 32 planned. Flamethrower exhaust, and it does work when the car is running too. With a few tweaks we can make a fireball like this big. <laughs> I guess I'm a bit close. It's funny, this rubber buffer is slowly going to start melting. <laughs> I'm thinking for the thumbnail for the flamethrower video. Literally just put some flame retardant coveralls on and just take the full brunt of it. Alright, so like I said earlier, it's time to get the thumbnail for the flamethrower exhaust in the car, which means I need to suit up in some, hopefully, flame retardant G-Force racing gear. Just in case. Yeah. Yep. I don't want to drop these. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, this is kind of scary. We're live! You're not going to be very soon. So Riley, if you press this button, you're also liable. But the way it is right now is it, it, it's going to cover me in liquid propane, and then the second time you light it, it'll go up. Which means I'll be on fire. Like, actually on fire. Let's go with not head in the flames. <laughs> gonna roast my nuts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press the button now. Light it. Let's go with not head in the flames. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably do it again. It literally is my crotch. Do I do a yoga pose? Do downward dog. Downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this doggy style is not done with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> was I on fire? No. Not really. Whoa! That's what I was talking about. What is that? Do you think we got a good thumbnail? I'm still a bit cold. We should do it again. If I don't look at the fire, I'm not on fire. I feel like I'm on fire. Oh, All right, you're not on fire! I knew it, you're lying! I'm fire! Wow, it's so sweet. Let's do the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and look, my, my, my pants have some pretty cool flame patterns on them now. Look at that. So it did actually start shrinking, which is kind of interesting. So these might not be as retardant, as fire retardant as they were before now, but I'm sure we'll light myself on fire again. Bacon time! Bacon. All right, Riley, you want to help me bake some bacon? Yeah. Yeah. Just use your nose to do that. Yep. <laughs> my hands are full. I wonder if I lost any of my beard. Yes. Oh my god, you totally did that! <laughs> I was wearing a helmet. Nothing more manly than a fire shave. 
Look at all the fat on the, look at that. Woo! Bacon's ready. <laughs> Flame off. Sizzle, sizzle. Honestly? It tastes like bacon. <laughs> and it's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's like frosted tips for your beard. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Making a flamethrower exhaust is a lot of fun, but in most countries, states, and provinces, I'm pretty sure flamethrower exhaust is illegal, so I wouldn't recommend, recommend doing this to your daily driver. However, if you're doing it on private property, it's perfectly legal. Basically, you can do anything you want to a vehicle on private property, I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, if you guys like this episode, make sure you check out the other episodes on our spy car, and make sure you subscribe, because we're just getting started. Ian, you want some bacon? Should we, should we get in the beard here one? <laughs> that was not downward dog? <laughs> what was it? <laughs>